Well, hey everyone, here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon battle set that just got released. And, and first off, which I forgot to mention in my Mandalorian uh, ambush battle pack review, who I forgot to say is why the piece count isn't present for that. Well, I got these at the, a store called Bricks and Minifix, which there is a chain of in here in the U.S., but yeah. But, I'm sure yours could be, yours could have the piece count, but it, yeah. It just kind of goes that way sometimes, but yeah. And so now, first off for the box, we always have the Lego Star Wars logos and a picture of a large battle going on there. And same exact Mandalorian border that we've seen since 2022 and all the minifigs included. And recommended ages 7 and up, set number 75386. And name of the set, and there. Paz Vizsla on the side, and there. And on the back of the box, we would have a, another different picture of everything there is. And also, a couple of the features of the set. And then the logos again, and there. And now onto the manual, of which a uh, little CGI rendering, like most, like all manuals these days are. And then transitioning from plastic bags to paper bags, and add for the builder app. And on the back, how to win on the online survey, and the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then all the sets of this uh, smallish wave that there is. And then how to combine it with the uh, ma uh, Ambush on Mandalore battle pack set that I previously reviewed. And then the last building steps. And so now, on to the mini thing. First up, we which have Paz Vizsla, who is quite the same that came in the Mandalorian Forge set in 2021, but however, the backpack build built a little bit differently than that, and also the uh, large blaster also built a little differently with the like holder part and uh, the candlestick piece and such. Unlike with his last one, which has plain black head piece. Not sure why, but whatever. And then next to which we have Moth Gideon, who we haven't seen in sets also since 2021, but that was his seasons one and two appearance, but this season three appearance. And of course, same helmet piece as that came on uh, Gar Saxon and the uh, armorer back in 2021. Oh wait, actually it's a little bit different than that. Like the horns on top, a little different than that. But yeah. Whatever the printing of which, uh, very good for how it is, and torso print leg printing, all quite good for how it is. Then take off the widget and have all new unique face printing, which is a little different than his uh, last appearance in 2021. That is. And then last of which you get. Get not just one, but actually two of the Imperial Praetorian Guards, of which all quite different and were well, quite different than the ones that were put out in twenty uh, in twenty eighteen nineteen for Episode Eight from the sequel trilogy. But however, this they were first order. This is Imperial, of course, and of course the new part of which are the weapon pieces for that, like this of which with the purple cone pieces on a. Monkey Kid uh, staff piece, kind of similar to that of the 2008-9 uh, uh, Magna Guards, of course, but the other which has kind of a little club-like build with an electro part to it as well. Also like in the show. But the helmet pieces are quite unique and also with, as they're sculpted very well and 
also kind of unique printing to it, kind of similar, although kind of feel almost like uh, uh, Senate Commando uh, troops, but yeah. But underneath the which, just plain red headpiece, also like the 2018-19 uh, First Order Praetorian Guards, but yeah. Then to the back sides of each of them, that Moff Gideon's of which, same exact uh, jetpack piece as the Senate Commandos in the uh, Ambush on Mandalore battle pack, and also the First Order and Final Order Jet Troopers from Episode 9, that is. And then the uh, Praetorian Guard back towards some printing, also quite similar to most uh, Stormtroopers and Clone Troopers that all did. And Moff Gideon, which does have double sided face print to it. And that's about it with this uh, minifig selection. And then first off for the builds of which is this uh, little crate like build, which same exact build as the uh, Ambush on Mandalore battle pack set. So kind of like how in years prior, or like long ago where it was like same build used in a different set. In, or used in two sets with no changes at all. But of course you can open up and then there's a, period, a pair of thermal detonators in there. And that was about it there. And now on to the uh, main build itself. As you see, quite large and, and also kind of good for the piece count of it at the $40 that it is. And also like the Ambush on Mandalore battle pack set, and oh, it's just the front part of it, but barrenness from the back part, but yeah. So like for this front part of it, which has have a, a lot of, lot of jumper plates and a, few, a lot of smooth surfaces, oh, which kind of making a bit of a space to like, uh, display your minifigs onto and also have a nice smooth look to it and like in this whole sequence but yeah and then also as for one side which with a printed tile piece and also one side which which is a little ugly rock piece and little uh, hinge rod with a cone on it to be a little light post to it and then on this other side, which is a little clip like part to attach the smaller build or a smaller set to that one. And then, as for this large door right here, which built with mostly tiles and plates and also a couple of hinge parts on it to give it a little metal look to it. And then on both, uh, geez, on these jagged inverted jagged slopes on both sides, I have little three light stickers to that. So but luckily there's very few stickers in this set for that. And then as for the top part of which, which does have that kind of similar as those uh, light detail decals like you'd often expect on like the Imperial Star Destroyers and Death Star and so on. Kind of keeping up the look for an Imperial base to it. And then there's a little unique kind of build to it which is like a bent bricks and rounded plates around and then also do have a small ugly rock piece but in dark tan for that and then on one side of which a little few more jacket slopes going on and then this little interior space to it which does have a, a stickered tile piece which does have something in Star Wars text on there and also showing the Imperial light cruiser on it kinda neat for how that is. So a nice little mention in Easter egg there. And then also you have sort of a bar brick on site and another a clip on site. Well, this clip probably just for storing a weapon onto and uh, this uh, bar part is just for the smaller set, of course. And then how the door, and here's how the door bar kind of works out. Just get onto this ball joint part is pull on that and then raise it up and then this bar piece would stick right there and then also you can like push on this tan part and let it drop right down quite smoothly so 
good feature that is for me. And then as for this little top torrent here, which you can actually take right off, and then right inside of it are extra trans green studs for the stud shooters on it. And then as for this uh, little torrent field, which kind of feels almost like the first First Order Battle Pack that was released for Episode 7 of the sequel trilogy in 2016, but all of that which had a single uh, stud shooter on it, but this which has two. Although I think this could also work out as a small Battle Pack build by itself, but that's just me. I'm sure some of you might agree to that. But yeah. I see, like, the base part all just jagged slopes around, and on top of which is a pair of newer style stud shooter. There's obviously. And then also has these little uh, chief slopes around, and also a trans red uh, plate in there. And then on the back side is a couple of. A jagged slopes to there, and then a little jumper plate, obviously to uh, sit a minifig into a course, and man the torrent, of course. And then how to put play back onto it is for the uh, three stud plate or by th one by three plate on there, attach it on like so. And why the clear plate or clear tile there is for it is so you can know where uh, how it goes like. Yeah. I also forgot to mention for the top part of this uh, build of which, which is a 2x6 uh, tile for that. All the things, maybe a few uh, tan, dark tan slopes could have worked out as well, but yeah. I, I, unless it, I'm sure you can add some on if you wanted, but yeah. And then also a hinge part, which doesn't hinge out or anything, just hold it in place. Although an L plate could have worked out as well, but yeah. And then also remember that clip that from earlier. So here's which the ambush on Bandalore uh, set build can clip it onto there like so, and there it is. Oh, whoops. clip it on like that, and then sort of a quarter post kind of build to it. And also for the bar part on this other side, which you can attach it on. To as well, and then got kind of a little extension of it, but like sideways for that. So, oh, it's well workable, as you can tell, as you can, as you saw there. And so now on to the final ver or gather of everything here. Oh, and also, for, for a little size comparison, is for the $40 that it is, and here's, and compared to the uh, $40 Imperial Marauder from summer 2021, as you can see, which has a lot less bulk to it than the Imperial Marauder did, did have a lot, a few more pieces than that, than it, and it was also 40 So, although, feels almost as much solid as it. And even though previous, but whereas previous $40 sets, which were, did have a little more bulk to them, but, but this, which almost as much that, but on the, but kind of bit on the smallish side to it. But yeah. And that is about it there. Yeah. And now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good set, a pretty good set for how it is. Like, do get two uh, Praetorian guards, Imperial Praetorian guards, of course, and also Duvir, like Moth Gideon and Paz Vizla, uh, which, uh, together in a set, and also first time in a set since 2021, uh, which is nice to see, but also, and of course with Armored Up Moth Gideon, uh, which also nice to see there. And although it would be nice if there were a few a few more pieces added to it, then it'd be a little larger for 
and like a more solid forty dollar set, but well, that's just me. But yeah. And then how it is for the forty dollars that it is, I say it's kind of well worth it for the minifig selection. But although this also does work out well as a good parts pack of like light tan of like gray and darkish tan and all. Although I think maybe or maybe there could have been a little exploding feature to it like press a lever and then have it blow a wall up like some uh, sets would do but yeah but what although the stud shooters are do well work do work out just fine for playability but yeah and then although with the ambush on battle or battle pack which does also work out as a little extension to it but yeah and then as is it which is still still quite good for how it is and also for the size of forty dollars that it is still quite good unlike almost as much as previous forty dollar sets kind of were but yeah and so now if any of you still have or are looking to get this set for your mandalorian set collection definitely pick this up and if you are to have the uh, Praetorian Guards for your Imperial Army, I would spice up your Imperial Army a bit. Also, definitely pick it up. Then, yeah, but yeah. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.